It's time for 28mm World War II action. Will you recreate history or reshape it your way? On the Bolt Action Hub at beastsofwar.com. Progress comes to a world of magic as science and the arcane combine to make marvels. Meet steampunk inventors and orc mystics at the Volsung Hub on beastsofwar.com. Hi everybody, welcome to a new series from Beasts of War. Uh, I'm joined by Sean from Outlaw Miniatures and we're going to be exploring Wild West Exodus. Now, as you can see from the title of the video, this is Exploring Exodus. So if you're wondering what it is, well here you go. Look at this fantastic <laughs> table filled with beautiful steampunk Wild West miniatures. Sean, how do I get started on this? I, 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 my shiny syndrome's kicking off here. <laughs> uh, so there's two ways that are really easy to get started in Wild West mm. Exodus. The first one, if you have a faction that you really love, you just want to get your hands on it, you want to start playing it, you have the single player starter box. Okay. Uh, so in that, uh, you'll have uh, a set of hired hands, you'll mm -hmm. have close combat, and you'll have long range. Okay, so uh, do we have some of them sitting on the table here we can show yeah, off? Yeah, so uh, we've got this close combat hired hand right here. Okay. Uh, from the Union. Okay, uh, so the, the, these are the, the northern states from after the Civil War then? Yep, exactly. Right. So what, what's this guy going to do? He's armed with what appears to be pistol. He's got a big saber and a pistol. A saber. So mm -hmm. I, I assume he's got a little bit of shooting and maybe a lot of bit, swinging. bit more fighting. Yep. Okay. Uh, what's the other type of hired hand? A long range one, I'll assume? Uh, yeah. So then we've got long range hired hands. Mm -hmm. So here's one from the Outlaws. Okay. He looks to have some kind of weird little uh, Winchester rifle there. Yeah. So he's, ready he, to... he's the guy that's just going to be... In the upstairs window, just poking the barrel out, ready to take a shot at somebody? Exactly. All right, cool. So who else are we going to get in the starter boxes? Uh, then uh, you'll get a sidekick model. Okay. So a sidekick, I'm guessing that's the, the third rank, because you'll have boss, underboss, sidekick? Exactly. Yep, okay. So sidekicks have some cool combat abilities, or they're more support-based, depending on who they are. Okay. Um, you know, right here we have Sheridan of the Union, yeah. and he's more of a, a shooting-based support. Okay, well, I mean, like we, we'll be getting all into all of that kind of stuff during the series, guys. So. Definitely. Is, is actually really, really cool. Love the details on the uniform, even right down to little backpacks and stuff. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Okay, so we've, we've got our sidekick. Uh, yep. We obviously need someone to lead the party. Who do we have? So then we have our bosses. Okay. Uh, right here we have Dr. Carpathian. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, he, once you start bad. getting into the background. Yeah, the big bad. The big bad. Yeah. Yep. Uh, he's the leader of the Enlightened Faction, so mm. when you get that starter box, he's who, who will come with that one. All right. I, I've actually played this against Warren. We got a quick demo game on last night. Mm -hmm. He is ridiculously nasty. <laughs> and I'm not kidding. Ridiculously no. nasty. Okay, so we've, we've got him. Uh, do we get anything else in the starter set? So then, uh, as well in the starter set, you will get some dice. Uh, okay. So you've got some D10 that'll come in there. Right, so for anybody that's wondering, that's the type of dice you need. Simple D10 yep. system. D10s. Yep. It's actually a bit of a quirky system for to actually use because normally it's D6, D8, mm -hmm. but no, D10 it's, I think we'll have fun with. It's easier to understand the odds too. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, it's a one out of ten. You yeah, know, you're always like yeah, you can always work out that 30, mm -hmm. 40, 50 percent chance. Exactly. Cool. Uh, then uh, you'll get the quick start rules as well, yeah, which I have sitting here. So I love the artwork on this. Yeah, it's this is General <laughs> Grant, isn't it? Yep, General Grant. Yeah, and you you can just see that scarring from where he got burned, but. Yeah. Again, guys, if you want to know more about this character in particular, get the, the main rule book because mm -hmm. this will get you up and playing because it has everything you need inside here. Mm -hmm. So we've got how the cards work, how your healers work, things like that. But if you really want to get into the story of it, you're going to want to grab that big rule book. I yep. think you guys have something like 200 pages of story in that oh, thing. Oh, yeah. It's, There's it's a, a novel lot. onto it. Story so. and artwork, too. Oh, so, yeah. yeah. yeah some, so you're going to get the, a lot of vision to yeah. how the whole thing comes together. Yeah. Right, so that's the one player starter set, I assume. So yep, we're so getting boss, mm -hmm. sidekick, yep. and what was it, 10 of the hired hands? And you'll get the, the hired hands as well. Yep. Okay, cool. Yep. All right, so that's if I myself am wanting to get into it. What mm -hmm. if it's, right, say you and me had nothing to do with Beast of War, Wild Death Exodus. Yep, and, and we just else. want to get in the game. And we, we saw it and thought, right, this is cool, we both mm -hmm. want to play. What do we so get? So you'll, you'll get a similar set of models, mm -hmm. uh, but you'll get two factions worth. Okay, so, uh, that, so that, is this an actual two-player starter set? So it's a two-player starter okay. set. That's important to say. Yep. Uh, so you will get those two uh, those two factions there. Uh, mm -hmm. You'll get a boss, uh, same mm -hmm. as before. But this time, instead of getting a sidekick, you're going to get an underboss. Okay. So here, uh, here's an underboss from the Outlaws. We yep. have Frank James. 
Yeah. Uh, you know, he he's a pretty nasty sniper. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, like he's got one real uh, got your back where he's actually mm -hmm. able to shoot into melee if it's his boss that's in melee mm -hmm. without taking any penalties. So he's yep. he's quite nasty. He's he's quite a heavy hitter too. Again, this was the faction I was playing against Warren. <laughs> I did have a lot of fun with this. It was was very very fun. Yeah. Frank so, James is your man. Oh yeah. Fra Frank James is the guy I want watching my back because I know he's not going to shoot me in yep. the back. <laughs> and then. Uh, along the along, as well as right. that, you'll also get a light support model. Oh, so hang on, we're getting a jet bike. Yep, you'll get a jet bike for the outlaws, oh. and then the uh, lawman in the starter box will have an interceptor bike. Uh, it's it's similar, but uh, they actually yeah. still use wheels on their bikes. I see, yeah. I see. Oh, so it's the the long, low, sleek thing. That yep. I was, oh, I want one. Yep. I want one. But no, the, these are really cool too, and I see you've actually managed to to set this one so that he's actually flying. Yep. Which is very so you can cool. get a little post and toss that on the base as well to get yeah. a little scenic with it. Have yeah. some cool stuff going on. Yeah, so you're getting more of a drop into the world with this. So sure. Instead yep. of being sidekick, you're getting underboss. So you're seeing how that starts to play with mm -hmm. it. And you're seeing how light support starts to work into the game. Yep. You'll see. You just get a little bit more uh, selection uh, to kind of get uh, get yourself more grounded in the whole I world. See. I yep. see. Right, uh, what else do we get? I see we've got a ton of cool tokens sitting here. So mm -hmm. we've got things like influence, activation markers. And all the special effects. We will be going yep. into depth in the rules later in the series, guys. But mm -hmm. for right now, it'll be in the rule book whenever you actually get the two player star set because it comes with the, uh, I think, this. Yep, so you'll get that. Which is a full mini rule book yep. without the story. Mm -hmm. And again, it's got everything in there. And again, some of that great, great artwork that you're seeing from Wild West Exodus. I love some of this stuff. Hey, we, so we do what we can. You do, do what you can, can, but you do good work. That's good. Uh, and then we toss in there as well a template set. Okay. Uh, so for the halos, to be able to measure those quickly and easily on yeah. the miniature, you have those. Yeah, so halos are essentially how far you can hit with your sword, your staff, whatever you're carrying. Mm -hmm. you know. And then it doesn't matter what weapon you might have, you oh, get yeah. the all-in-one template. Yeah. Uh, so if you have a spray weapon, a blast weapon, they're mm -hmm. all easy to access all in one piece. Yeah, well, that's very, very handy, very, very cool. Uh, right, so that would have us up and running in, say, what amount of time? A couple hours do it from uh, having the box on? You just got to toss some models together, so yeah. About, cool. About an hour, hour or two to be able to just glue some things together, yeah. start playing. So that would, got, that got would get you up, running, and drop you into the world for the first game or two. Definitely. Brilliant. Then if you want to start blocking some line of sight, you can, mm -hmm. you can either purchase some terrain or you can start to build some terrain on your own. Yeah. Um, yeah. There's a lot well, of I mean, different like, things I'm, to go. I'm looking at what we have here. Is this all MicroArt Studio we have here for the buildings themselves? Yep. So all the buildings is all HDF done by MicroArt Studios. And then yeah. you'll see various different scatter trains on here. Yeah, well, guys, uh, as with all these series, we always do a backstage version. So I think we're going to move on to backstage now. Mm -hmm. where We're going to have a bit more of a chat about the terrain and how you're actually going to want to use it in your games of Wild West Exodus. So Definitely. If you don't know what Backstage is, it's a little paid subscription we have on the main Base of War site where we do a ton more content. We do XLBS shows for this and other shows. And you basically just get even more great mm -hmm. content. So guys, if you want to find out more about how you're going to use the terrain in Wild West Exodus, come across, join us on Base of War, and uh, I guess we'll see you there if you join us. Sounds good. Take care. Right, now, I'm seeing, we have the bank here, which is two stories. Yep. Now, this, this is probably me being cheesy again, but <laughs> I, I want to have a try at this. All right. So we'll take the top off, mm -hmm. put it safely to the side, and let's say I've taken my little long-range outlaw. Mm -hmm. I've taken the time to get him inside and get him up to this window, and he's looking out through here. So I think you can just about see his barrel poking out through the window here. Mm -hmm. So right here. If he's shooting at Dr. Carpathian from there, he's now elevated. Will that give him any bonus? Humanity has been driven from Earth, but now it's time to take it back. Join the Reconquest and fight the Scourge on the Drop Zone Commander Hub at BeastsOfWar.com. From Viking Halls to the cities of the future, terrain buffs will love our foreground hub. Watch gaming tables of all genres come to life at BeastsOfWar.com.